What's going on YouTube? Gia Snow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak. So a brand new exploit has been released by Ian Beer of Google Project Zero. So this one is for 14.0, 14.0.1, 14.1, but there are some important details here. So before we jump into it, let's see exactly what's going on. So Ian posted this, quote, CVE 2020-27932, iOS kernel preview with turnstiles, and they posted this, a blog post with this vulnerability and some information about it. So pretty cool, but there is also a page here on the Project Zero bug tracker and you can see exactly what's going on. They talk a little bit about the turnstiles, which are a feature of iOS 12 and newer devices, and they also talk about where the vulnerability is. Now an exploit per se hasn't been released, however the vulnerability got also some code. So this is basically like a proof of concept in order to show you exactly how to trigger the vulnerability. So this might as well be very useful. Now let's see exactly what CVE 2020 27932 is. If you copy it and you open the security content of iOS 14.2, which is the version that patches this vulnerability, you can see exactly what's going on here. This is the vulnerability. It says kernel and the impact is a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple is aware of the reports that an exploit for this issue exists in the wild. So now we know that this vulnerability that EMB reported has also been used in the wild, probably to attack various targets and so on. We don't know exactly by whom and where that exploit is, but Apple does claim that this exists in the wild. So it has been reported by Google Project Zero. But what's important is, can we use it for Odyssey or even for Uncover? Since it says in here that a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges, that's actually quite powerful. And since executing code with kernel privileges is indeed usable for a jailbreak, I imagine that both Odyssey and Uncover can take advantage of it. Probably not for a fully working jailbreak, it's probably not enough, but it's still a darn powerful vulnerability and it's pretty good to see it finally available in here. But there is a catch. Everybody got excited when AMB posted this. I saw the jailbreak hub posted about it or whatever their name is right now. So everybody got very happy. However, there is a catch to it. Although Apple says in here that it's available for iPhone 6s and later, including the latest iPod Touch and the latest iPads and stuff like that, which implies that it supports a12, a13, and a14, EMB are left a note in here and they said, quote, it is my assessment that this vulnerability is unexploitable on devices with PAC or pointer authentication codes on iOS 14, where the host notify port's IPK object pointer is now tagged. So what they mean by this very technical sounding phrase? Well, it means that the devices that have PAC may not be exploitable with this. So who has PAC? Well, a12, a13, and a14 devices. Basically, everything newer than the iPhone 10 has PAC. So this vulnerability may not be exploitable in there, and it may not be very, very useful in there, exactly due to PAC. Now, it says that, quote, it is my assessment that this vulnerability is unexploitable. So he doesn't know for sure whether or not this is completely unexploitable in there. He just believes that. They also say, quote, it is my assessment that this vulnerability remains exploitable, however, on devices without PAC. So in the worst case scenario, we might be able to update Odyssey and Uncover to work with iOS 14.1, 14.0.1 1, and 14.0, but only on the iPhone 10 and lower, which are supported by Chickwin. However, I would take a semi-untethered jailbreak any day compared to a tethered one like the Chickwin. So it's still good, but you should definitely not be very, very excited by it. This is not what we were looking for, at least not the big vulnerability that we are all waiting for. It's a good release, it's good that it's been demoed, and it's good that it's been finally made publicly available by Ian Beer, but the real cake would be getting something patched in iOS 14.4 and that will also work for the A12. However, for that I think we need to wait a little bit longer because even this vulnerability here used to be scheduled for a 90 days deadline, which as you can see has passed. So they reported this vulnerability back on October 29th and it's only now that they made it publicly available. And that's a requirement when you're reporting vulnerabilities to Apple and you're not like, you know, dropping zero days or selling them to highest bidder or stuff like that. So the vulnerability is good. It's a kernel vulnerability, which is very powerful. It can give arbitrary code execution with kernel privileges, which again, 
very useful for a jailbreak. However, it seems that EMB believes that this vulnerability may not work on the PAC enabled devices. So no A12, A13 and A14 if he's right. I guess time will tell if he's right. The vulnerability, however, is still good news because one, it can be used for iOS 14 jailbreak on the rest of the devices. And two, because it means that Google Project Zero is starting to release vulnerabilities that were already patched because it means that the deadlines are finally coming to an end, which means that we're going to see more important vulnerabilities released in the near future. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.